it's time for another adventure. Come along with us while we explore Northern England. This is the Yorkshire region. It's one of our absolute favourite places ever, being full of history and lots of fun. There's so much to do, just where to start? Located in the northern region of England, we will be visiting the towns of Silston, Linton Falls, Nilesborough, Whitby, Scarborough, and our first stop, the incredible town of York. I'm loving York. The quintessential Yorkshire village. The architecture, the houses, the streets, the people. Absolutely loving it. This is the York Walls. They surround the entire city and they're considered to be the oldest surviving walls in the UK. Built way back in 79 AD, they were reconstructed in the 13th century. And what we see here today is a little bit of repair work and reconstruction so that people can walk along it. Okay, here's a little test. When you pass people on the wards, they pass on the inside. They don't want to go on the outside. Because it's a little bit of a drop, but yeah, it's not that bad. Let's see. No, this is Mickleback Gate, built in 1642. This gate held back the invading army from King Richard, and it was at this gate that they surrendered big part of history. Walking this wall, it's taking two hours to go right around the whole city. I reckon it's time for a beer. Actually, that's what I should do. A pub crawl with the wall. That's what I'm gonna do. I've split this up into a couple of days, this big walk. Now, I'm still on that pub crawl around the wall, so I'm just looking for another pub. Got to get another beer, feeling a bit thirsty. Alright, this pub crawl, how's it going? I just discovered a pub halfway down the wall. Yep, gonna go down there. I can feel the beer coming on. Let's do this. They all start looking the same after a while. Every single gate. This is cool. Going through the gate and then up into the walls. All right, that's another beer down. Let's get to the next gate and find another pub. This gate is a bit different to the others, being built as two gates. But why two gates, you might ask? So you go through the first gate, have to wait at the second gate, the back gate closes. You're not allowed in, and the soldiers from above, they're going to kill you. <laughs> That's crazy. And that's the wall done. Where to next? Might go to the railway museum. Yeah. 
It's supposed to be the best in the world. So many trains, so much history. The story goes that Queen Victoria had this carriage design. She didn't like the electric lamps of the day. They were brand new. She had them changed to oil lamps. She felt safer with oil. So just when you think it's over, it's like a warehouse of all these railway artifacts. It is absolutely amazing. So cool. That was a railway museum. Sadly, it's time to go. Let's go and explore the rest of York. Over time, York was built over and over again. Today we see the remains of its unusual medieval streets. And this is called the Hole in the Wall, one of 400 snickleways throughout York. And they always lead to somewhere absolutely amazing. Or they may even lead you to a hidden place to take another break. I think I've done this before. Let's go and have a beer. Cheers. Here's another beer. We're at the oldest pub in Yorkshire. This is really cool. When you come into all these old pubs, they have all the, the history of the photographs on the walls. And it's pretty cool to just go and check it all out. Check out this castle, it's like way up high on the hill. This is like a 14th century castle. I need to dig deeper to know what it's all about. This is a small section of a much larger series of towers surrounding the city. This is Clifford's Tower, and it was built in the 11th century as a fortification to protect the city and its people. So I'm going to explore where the, the knights would have fought back anyone invading the castle. So I'm going up on the roof, and it's a long way up. And it's a good view of York on top as well. So there's not much left of this castle. It's been around for like, what's that, 1200 years. Wow, the King's Chapel. I'm standing where King Henry VIII would have been in this chapel, maybe attending a christening or, or a, some type of service standing in history. If I don't fall down the stairs, time to get to the next place. Don't want to break a leg. Why is it in every castle it's curved round staircases? <laughs> that was fun. Every year in York, there is an invasion of Vikings. 
prior to the Anglo-Saxon period, Vikings called this region home, and people come from all over to recreate the era. It's a spectacle of reenactments of bloody clashes and invasions, as well as plenty of food, wine, and beer. Oh, and overacting. Okay, so I'm in this Viking bar, I'm having a couple of drinks, and it's like, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna meet some Vikings. Skull! Skull! <laughs> hold on, hold on. Skull! 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 <laughs> <laughs> My home. This is where I used to grow up and I used to play in these fields. We used to have such a good time. It's just, oh, it's like I'm in my childhood again. Sat on the gate, just going, look at it. <laughs> it's so amazing. <laughs> so good. <laughs> okay, my turn. <laughs> Oh no, thought I can get over, over here. I'm stuck. Oof. I used to sit on these and put my, my bridle on there when I was in between my legs. I think I just saw her. Hey, Nan! <laughs> <laughs> this is my Nan. This is the best person in the whole wide world. <laughs> my Nan. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. I didn't know you were going again today. Doing homemade cake. You did make this, didn't you, Nan? No. Who no, made it? Rita. Oh, Rita. Oh, well, it'll be good. Yeah. It's homemade. Yeah. No, she made it nice. You can make it look we see stories of witches throughout the ages and there's this stereotype of a witch with a big nose and this is where it started from this is the story of this witch that become the uh, the forerunner of all witches around the world and all the storytelling from that day. That's crazy, hey? But there's a bit of a story about the hotel that's across from here. It's called the World's End. It was predicted by the witch that lived around here that if the viaduct fell, the world would end. And the viaduct has fallen once and we're still here. Way back in 1630, tourism was about. They charged people money to uh, for a guided tour of this of this place. And this is what they call the petrifying well. They hang objects over the the water that's coming from a natural spring, and it's full of calcium. And over time, these objects. They all turn into stone. <laughs> it's so weird because it's like everyday objects. Like I see a pair of socks. There's there's some slippers. There's some teddy bears. I like to see what they look like when they turn to stone. Okay, so for good luck, you've got to put a coin in the in the well. Right in here, we're in the, we're inside one of the caves, and we're going to put a coin in in there, and it's for good luck. It's been a tradition for five hundred years. This is where the famous witch was born. It's not very deep. What's it around about? 
five meters by five meters. Rather gloomy. And we can see the witch at the back. And this is like, uh, remember this is like 500 years ago. Would have been a sad existence. Exactly. This place is absolutely awesome. I couldn't think of any other place that uh, we could have visited that, that would resonate as cool as this. So amazing. This is Whitby. We've traveled all the way to the east. This is the town with the views and lots of hills. Bloody beautiful. Hundred and ninety to go. <laughs> <laughs> so a little unknown fact about climbing the stairs at Whitby. You'll see these seats on the side here. It's a good rest stop for the tourist climbing the stairs, but they were actually built for coffins when they used to take the coffins up to the abbey. So you didn't know. It's pretty scary. Come and join me. Join me on the coffin. On the coffin seat. This place has had its fair share of history. First, uh, the civilizations, they, they've been around here for what, 3,000 years. And it was then the Vikings come here in the 8th century, they invaded and they pillaged this place. And then it wasn't until about the 11th century that what we see around Whitby here today had started. The, the king of the day, King Richard, he granted monks land here and they established the monastery and then um, the town grew from that. this a lot of people think it's a lump of stone but it's actually a wishing chair and your legend goes if you're sitting it you can make a wish and it comes true so let's go I'll sit on the top <laughs> you've got to fit inside you got right, to... the, the legend is you've got to fit inside the chair and if you if you can squeeze your butt into it it'll come true have you squeezed your butt into it oh, absolutely it fits like a glove Perfect. <laughs> Glad Whitby was on our list. Could not have been any better. It's just amazing. Ooh, oh, I just think I'll sit here. Oh, I think I know someone down the other end. Let's go down the other end. Oh my goodness, had to be the biggest seat ever. This is a long seat. Oh my goodness.
this is one hell of a long bench. Hello. <laughs> oh God. Now that is a long bench. It's the longest in the world. Welcome to Giggles Week. We're in a marquee in the middle of nowhere to celebrate the wedding. <laughs> Okay, so this is cool. I'm at a wedding in Yorkshire and this time of night, and I'm not used to this, it is actually 10 o'clock at night and the sun is still setting. It's like twilight. The sun sets only for like four hours. So by about 3.30 in the morning, it's like daylight again. How cool is that? Catching up with family, friends, this place is the best. Yorkshire has now created more of the best memories ever. And we also had so much fun exploring and meeting new friends. It's actually a wishing chair. Oh my god, I used to come in these all the time. I think I've done this before. Let's go and have a beer. I just discovered a pub halfway down the wall. One of 400 snickleways throughout York. It is absolutely amazing. This is the best person in the whole wide world. <laughs> Mine am. <laughs> Yorkshire, love you so much. We'll be definitely back again.